All right, ladies, appreciate it. The 4 0 Hillcrest Rams rolling right along at home against Powdersville Patriots, averaging over 53 points in their past two wins. This should have been a fun game right here in Simpsonville. Pick it up first quarter. Hillcrest Caleb Sutton hitting Grant Holiday on the screen. Holiday, oh, he sped it up a little bit. He didn't actually run that fast. It'd be impressive if he did, but 65 yards to Pater at 7 0 Rams. Later in the first, Patriots Eli Hudgens. Look at a pass picked off instead by Brennan Matthews. Tiptoeing on the sideline. What a play there defensively. And on the ensuing drive, Sutton finds Avery McFadden. And one of the top playmakers in the upstate does it again. 14-0 Hillcrest. And the Rams blow out Powdersville 52-14. All right, let's keep it moving on Friday night. Heads Burns has beaten Greenville and Greer in the past two weeks by a combined 59 points, hosting the Hurricanes of Wren. The Rebels hitting their stride. The defense has been outstanding. Let's show you the highlights here as they pitched a second half shutout. It was 21 to 0 into the second half. Andrew Stevens, the quarterback for Burns, finds the freshman running back Trace Segarra for a first down connection. But then Stevens later in the drive finds Wren's Brandon Kirby instead. A nice defensive play for the Wren Hurricanes right there, the interception, but the Rebels roll to a 28-7 win over Wren in a low-scoring second half. Woodmont off to a 3-1 start under new head coach Ty Sutherland, matching up with easily the Green Wave have won their last two meetings. Start of the second, Wildcats up by eight. Woodmont's Jordan Sink deep to Drake Stewart, six god. Wildcats still moving. T.J. Williams skirting down the sideline. He's going to get all the way into the red zone, sets up a short Wildcat score. Woodmont moves to 4-1, 28-14. Centurion storming out of the gate. Brooms best beginning to a season since 2017 at home against Berea. Scoreless early. That's Kamaje Bracket Brandon hitting Xavier Hill. Hill just goes right on down the sideline, untouched. Big play, Broom scores first. It is 7-0, Centurions, Broom close again. Jalen McGill just grabbing a few things from the corner store. Centurions go up by 14, a whole lot more. That came from 58-6, the final. BHB going down to Greenwood, looking to extend their perfect start to the season against an Emerald Vikings team that's 0-3, but all three of those losses have come by three points or less. So Emerald playing everybody tough, and they were the aggressor Early in this game, the sights and sounds before kickoff and into the first quarter, we would go Emerald's Key Holloway. This is a QB run all the way. And Holloway exit stage right. 50 yards as Emerald goes in front, 7-3. to three. So the Vikings striking early, but later in the quarter, BHP has the ball in the red zone. Shaheem Robs shrugging off would-be tacklers, bounding in. The Bears pull in front. That's where they'd say 52 to 14 over Emerald. Found in at their first home win last Friday, aiming for a homecoming win against Pendleton. Congrats to the homecoming royalty. Let's go to the second quarter. Found in kicking on fourth down. It's blocked. Pendleton recovers, is able to score a field goal at the end of the half. Third quarter now. Blue Bulldogs driving. Luke Bray connects with Corey Jones for the touchdown. It is 39-0 at that point, and Pendleton wins 53-nothing. Look high, we've got eyes on the sky. South side of Carolina, both teams seeking their first win of the year. Trojan up 15 to six in the second, but check out South side. Chandler McClure to Tyrell Bailey. Bailey's bouncing around, light work for the South side score. So the Tigers cut it to two, but the Trojans right on back. Jay Sean Bowens connecting with Demarcus Riley behind the trees, between the ferns, a Trojans touchdown. Carolina comes up with their first win of the year. 37 to 28. So that'll do it for us. Week four of Friday Night Hits is in the books for Chase and our entire hardworking crew. Thanks as always for joining us. We'll see you next week, same time, same place. And remember, you can always find all of our highlights and all of our scores online, wiff4.com. Have a good night and a great weekend.